Tabasco. Ist jetzt auch grün. Le Mild Pepper Sauce. Tabasco. Ist jetzt auch grün. Le Mild Pepper Sauce. Le Mild Pepper Sauce. A protected marine nature reserve, the Kandao Islands, of which Kansan is the largest and where you are likely to be staying can be difficult to get to, with irregular flights from Ho Chi Minh City or an overnight ferry from Vuang Tao. But my goodness, it's worth it. I must confess, the highlight of any traveling around Vietnam for me is usually the food, yet the lack of any real eating options outside of the main hotels didn't still manage to disappoint, as the scenery around Khan Dao is so spectacular you'll want to stay forever. I think of all the places I visited in Vietnam Khan Dao was possibly one of the most beautiful I've seen. The islands of Khan Dao have a tragic history, they lay completely unoccupied until the French occupied Vietnam and used the island as one large prison complex, where prisoners were shackled, starved and beaten, forced into hard labor and subjected to some particularly cruel and unusual punishment. Sadly when the Americans arrived to save Vietnam from communism they kept the prisons running and made good use of one of the most barbaric elements, the tiger cages. Even once their horrific nature had been exposed in the US media, they simply built another set deeper in the jungle so the journalists wouldn't find them. Today the prisons serve as a stark reminder of the horrors of war, and many of the island's residents are ex-convicts who've decided to stay on the islands rather than return to the mainland. These days the main industries are fishing and shipping, and life on the island is very simple and undeveloped, though there are plans to encourage more tourism to the islands in the future. The entire area is protected by law, so much of the islands are covered by thick forest. A visit to the rangers station will explain a great deal about the wildlife living on the island, and they are very happy to arrange tours around the jungle or out to the other islands, to see endangered species and to go snorkeling and diving. There are also a number of diving schools on the island particularly rainbow divers. On our visit we hired a motorbike to explore the roads around the island, and went for hikes through the forest and swam on completely deserted beaches, as well as visiting the prisons and museums. It was a true escape from Saigon, a complete contrast to the concrete, traffic and noise, and one we'll remember forever. One of the key organizations protecting the local habitat in Khan Dao, as well as in many other national parks across Vietnam, is WWF. If you'd like to help support conservation efforts in Vietnam and preservation of the many endangered species there, we strongly suggest becoming a member. It doesn't cost a lot and while in Vietnam you can see for yourself the difference they are making. Getting to Khan Dao if you want to go by boat there is a hydrofoil service from Vuang Tao to Khan Dao twice a week at 350,000 VND each way and also one departing from Travin in the Mekong Delta which is run by Green Lines. The fares and timetable are no longer advertised on the Vietnamese language version of their website though, so it is worth checking before making the trip to Vuang Tao. Flights are run by Vietnam Air Services but are bookable online. An alternative may be to book online with Vietnam Air who are currently advertising an all-inclusive two-day tour to the island including flights which departs from Ho Chi Minh City. One of the stellar attractions in this region, the Khan Dao Archipelago is slowly gaining attention for its startling natural beauty. Khan Sun, the largest of this chain of 15 islands and islets, is ringed with lovely beaches, coral reefs and scenic bays and remains partially covered in thick forests. In addition to hiking, diving and exploring empty coastal roads and deserted beaches, there are some excellent wildlife watching opportunities. 
Kansan Island, with a total land area of 20 square km, is also known by its Europeanized Malay name, Isles Pulau Kondore, Pulau Kondor, which means Island of the Squashes. Although it seems something of an island paradise, Kansan was once hell on earth for the thousands of prisoners who languished in confinement during the French and American regimes. Roughly 80% of the land area in the island chain is part of Kandao National Park, which protects Vietnam's most important sea turtle nesting grounds. For the last decade, the World Wildlife Foundation, WWF, has been working with local park rangers on a long-term monitoring program. During nesting season, May to September, the park sets up ranger stations to rescue threatened nests and move them to the safe haven of hatcheries. Other interesting sea life around Kandao includes the dugong, a rare and seldom seen marine mammal in the same family as the manatee. Dugongs live as far north as Japan, and as far south as the subtropical coasts of Australia. Their numbers have been on a steady decline, and increasingly efforts are being made to protect these adorable creatures. Major threats include coastal road development, which causes the destruction of shallow water beds of sea grass, the dugong's staple diet. Kandao is one of those rare places in Vietnam where there are virtually no structures over two stories, and where the traveler's experience is almost hassle-free. There's even no need to bargain at the local market. Owing to the relatively high cost and the inaccessibility of the islands, mass tourism has thankfully been kept to a minimum. These days most visitors to Kansan are packaged tour groups of former VC soldiers who were imprisoned on the island. The Vietnam Se government generously subsidizes these joints as a show of gratitude for their sacrifice. Foreign tourists are still few and far between, though their numbers are on the rise. The driest time to visit Kandao is from November to February, though the seas are calmest from March to July. The rainy season lasts from June to September, but there are also northeast and southwest monsoons in autumn that can bring heavy winds. In November 1997 Typhoon Linda did a number here. 300 fishing boats were lost, reefs were wiped out and the forest flattened. September and October are the hottest months, though even then the cool island breezes make Kandao relatively comfortable when compared with HCMC or Vuang Tao. From March to November it's possible to do a beautiful and leisurely two-hour trek starting from near the airport runway, but you'll definitely need a local guide to do this, about US $6 for the outing. The walk leads through thick forest and mangroves, and past a hilltop stream to Bamboo Lagoon, Dam Tree. This spot is stunning and there's good snorkeling in the bay. You could even consider arranging for a boat to come and pick you up. A hike that you can do yourself is a one kilometer walk, about 25 minutes each way, through rainforest to Ong Dong Bay. The trail begins a few kilometers north of town. On the road to the trailhead, you'll also pass the ruins of the Mothin Land Bridge, built by prisoners under the French occupation. The bay itself has only a rocky beach, though there's interesting coal 300m offshore. Sea Dive Control, 0128480 Larry, at dive-condow.com, runs an office out of the 36 ton Duke Thang Street, though they're scheduled to to ATC sometime in 2011. They offer some excellent dives among the coral reefs around the islands. During the dry season, November to May, visibility is good and dives are less likely to be cancelled. This is also a good source of island info, English spoken. 60 roofless compartments derogatorily referred to as sunbathing compartments divided into four rows 15 compartments. Each of these are places where prisoners were exposed to the sunshine or to the rain or were physically tortured in the end of year 1970. There's a supported regime had to order the tiger enclosures cleared and they consumed them into rabbit breeding booths to relieve the protest by prisoners and objection from patriotic movement in South Vietnam as well as international opinion under the late regime. It was called Camp Ernan Chuang Bo Bovine Enclosure of Security. 
Our next is 69M unoccupied space 38,861 M. This camp comprises 20 detention rooms and 8 punishment cells divided into lot A and lot B. Each boasts 10 detention rooms and 4 cells. In addition, there is a kitchen, a mess hall, and a warden's room. Camp 7, also called Camp Fu BINH or a style of tiger ankle sewers cage, a tiger eye America A. Nasty eyed tiger enclosures built in 1971. Total area 25,760. M of which the area of detention rooms and cells 2,562 M annexes 637 M houses 173 M unoccupied space 22,369 M this camp comprises 384 solitary cells divided into four areas A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H each area boasts two rows of cells 48 cells each this is a concrete built prison and detention rooms there are no platforms for inmates to lie on prisoners had to sleep on the dank concrete floors. 17 sanitation service prisoners are pressed into service to sweep streets, collect garbage, empty waste cans and so on. These should probably have been sorted out as daily petty works. 18. Dock service where a number of fruit trees were planted and cattle and domestic fowls were kept. 111. The Island Lord's Mansion total area 18,600 M of which the area of the main house and annexes amounts to 1,250 M. Courtyards 1,700 M. This is the above and office of 53 island lords throughout their 113 year domination on these islands from 1862 to 1975 from the liberation day until now the island lords mansion has become a memorial house to display a historic vestige of Kandao Vima Finland bridge the road from the township makes a fork at the foot of Mount Jia the first track leads to Hang Dong Celery the second is leading to the pepper service the third between the other two is running to Ang Dong Pass crossing over the mountain to reach on Kyle Beach on the west side of the island in 1931-1945. The French colonialists built this road stretching to the on Kyle service in order to prevent prisoners escape on building the road. Prisoners were forced to carry stones up to Ang Dong Pass to build a bridge there according to prisoners' accounts since the pass was too precarious. A salt service to work on salt fields at Anhoi Village 9 Woodwork Service This is a small craft service utilizing prisoners' profession to produce furniture 10 Pepper Service This is a large farm in a noxious atmosphere on where firstly French superintendents had jackfruit trees planted and later they had pepper planted next to jackfruit trees so that pepper plants would grow on the trees 11 and Hai dry field service this is a large plantation at Hai village where many kinds of fruit trees planted and young plants supplied to the whole islands from 12 Koang service this plantation at Koang village is larger than Ned at Hai village with more diverse kinds of trees and plants but rice is the major plant cultivated here since the service is 12 kilometers far from the prison, commuting with products bright from it is rather hard and strenuous. A task 13 Honey service to cultivate vanilla plants to produce vanilla pods, which would be sold in Saigon later on. Hovai service also cultivates some other cash plants. 14 Rose service at its outset, the service planted rose later, it was changed to planting vegetables. 15 Ong Lan's farm service, this was a large garden of the prison manager planting fruit trees and raising turtles and tortoises. 16 Ong Dong service this service is as far as the west side of Mount Chi planting such cash plants as sweet potatoes cassava gourd and pumpkin etc are perilous there were 356 prisoners killed in accidents or died of exhaustion from hard work when the August Revolution came to success this project was left unfinished only two abutments of about eight meters high each till stand there the name Ma Finland meaning a mountain that is so high that touches the sky is derived from a Chinese class Classic Roman and was the name of a mountain in Korea via the historic 914 wharf, the wharf.